A handful of students were arrested and two school employees were hurt at Centerville High School. Gail Huff, live now at the school with the word on what happened there. Gail. If this is all sounding familiar, well, it is the third time in the metro area over the past month that a food fight has started as a prank and ended with students being arrested. Lunch pops at the ceiling and food's going everywhere. Like people are just getting like pounded with food, food's going to people's hair. Administrators are like diving on top of people, like pushing people into walls and stuff. When school administrators tried to break up a food fight here at Centerville High School, witnesses say fists started flying. Um, right after the food fight happened, um, a couple kids got into a really big fight and then um, a couple of kids hit the administrator. An assistant principal and a security officer were both assaulted, according to police. They arrested two girls and two boys. Live. The juvenile's arrests come on the heels of two other recent food fights in the metro area, both of them turning violent also. Most recently in West Springfield, where more than 100 students turned over tables, chairs, and other furniture, injuring some of the other students. The school principal threatened to cancel prom, but decided instead to ban the students who participated. Days before that, at Henry Wise High School in Prince George's County, eight students and an adult were arrested again after a food fight turned violent. Today, a witness told us the Senator incident may have been inspired by Facebook postings from kids at other schools. That's all it takes is one school and a trend starts from the county. The principal tells us some students could be suspended here. All are sophomores in the cafeteria for a break.